Hey, good morning, everyone. So a question came in about how to use the uh, gamma scanner. So I thought I would record this video to help you get started with this um, from a visual perspective. Uh, I am in the process of writing this up. It's just going to take a little more time to do so. Um, this presumes that you've downloaded and have opened up in Excel or in Sheets. I'm going to use Excel for this one, uh, the Gamma Scanner. This is the most recent version as of uh, Tuesday morning, uh, November 30th. Uh, this does update periodically, so I do urge you to grab one at least once a day, if not, uh, if not more often. One of the first things I do is I hit this upper left corner here that you see, and you can see it's selected everything, turned it slightly uh, um, green here, or gray, excuse me. So I think uh, the first thing to do is just adjust the column widths, and when you do that, you'll see now it adjusts to the widest um, um, column header, so you can read the column headers really well. Uh, the next thing that I do is I want to look for stocks that have a positive gamma condition because I'm typically a long only person. As it turns out, we do this automatically for you. And we have a test here said, that says call GEX greater than put GEX. It's in column AM here. And you can see that it says true. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the uh, arrow here. It's going to select the entire sheet. I'm going to go up to data and I'm going to hit filter. And when I do that, you can see that it puts these little pull downs at the top of every row here. And what that does is it allows us to filter. And so the first thing to do is just to turn off all of the falses for this. And now what this does is it allows this to become all true. And this says that I want all stocks that have a call gex greater than put gex. So that is an easy way uh, of preloading a filter that we've, uh, we've built in for you. The next thing that I like to do is I like to make sure that the overall price, the spot price, is above a certain limit. And six is probably too low. Um, I typically like to see at least 10 to, to $15. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to go over to spot price and let's make it 15. And the way you do that is you select the down arrow, you hit number filters. I want to say greater than $15. So I'm going to put a one five there. And when I do that, it's going to remove all the stocks that are less than $15. And that'll help uh, filter things down a little bit and, and just make sure that we don't get into some of the thinner issuances. Now over here uh, on the far right of the, the sheet, you'll also see that um, we have this total OI greater than 1M, which is 1 million, total OI greater than 50K, or total OI greater than 100K. Let's just start for the sake of, of this demo. Let's just keep it above 500K. And so we already built, built this for you. So all you need to do at this point is go in here, pull this down again, and I'm going to hit true on this. And now these are going to be all of the stocks that have greater than 500,000 uh, contracts. And if we look all the way over here in the total OI column, you can see that the number is indeed greater than 500,000 across the board here. So that's that's really, really key here. So what have we done here? We've selected stocks that uh, are positive gamma. We did that over here in this column. Um, uh, and you can always go back and look and see. So that you see this little filter here. So this is this column here. We also selected stocks that are above $15. We did that over here uh, in this column. You can see the little filter right there. And then we went ahead and we um, filtered uh, on 500,000 or greater, right? So, and that's all the way over here on the right where you can see this. Now, some of you have expressed that you want to see the 21 day greater than the 50 day. We've actually done some other work that shows that this is actually a gives a slight edge to the world. So I'm going to go ahead and select the moving average 21 greater than moving average 50. And when I do that, you can see that that filters down. And finally, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to show you the field. The question specifically is. How do we find stocks that potentially are moving up either in GEX or up in um, uh, call open interest? 
We've created a column here, column R, which is the percent change in GEX. And if this is a positive number, then you're going to see a positive transition occurring uh, for the selected stocks. And if you look here, indeed, we every place that it is a positive number, you can see a transition up. This is negative here, and you can see why it's going down from 37 to 36, but all these other ones are going up. So again, I'm going to pull this down. I'm going to hit number filters. I'm going to say greater than zero. And this is going to give me all stocks in the database that are positively transitioning. So AMC, Microsoft, Tesla, CRM, TQQQ, and Plug are the candidates. And now you can take those symbols and you can go do something with them. I hope you found this useful. Uh, give me some feedback on if this is working for you or not working for you. And uh, we'll go from there. So thanks, everyone.